Taking a live look at the House of Representatives, and right now, lawmakers holding their first hearing as they investigate the recent plots to assassinate former President Donald Trump. And Fox 13's John Hopperstadt is listening into that hearing for us. What are you learning, John? Well, Bill, this hearing is coming just a day after a Senate committee released a scathing report saying failures at the Secret Service led directly to that shooting in Pennsylvania during the Trump rally. Now, the report found failures in the chain of command, no coverage plan for the building where the shooter fired from, no single line of communication and equipment failures as well. So far this morning, lawmakers looking into how local law enforcement reacted to this threat. In the hearing, the task force also just revealed this new video that shows a police cruiser going towards the building's roof where the shooter is. You can actually spot an officer in the background there jumping down from the roof at one point after the shooter pointed his rifle at him. And here's what one responding officer just said. It reports he is armed. I believe he says, I see him, he's laying down, and he has a long gun. Uh, to my actions for that, at that point, the gentleman on the roof clearly is a threat, and I radioed to our quick reaction force to deploy them to the AGR complex uh, to begin to address that threat. Prior to me finishing that radio transmission, you can hear the shots being fired uh, through my open microphone. The task force is looking into the interactions between local police and the Secret Service. One of the major problems here included local police not being able to communicate with the Secret Service. They were on different frequencies. They also had more than one command post. But at least at the start of this hearing, the task force seems to be suggesting that the failure on that day was with the Secret Service and not the local police. But we will continue to monitor this hearing. Guys.